Hi Tech Dad and today I'm actually sitting outside doing a review of a product as opposed to sitting inside in front of my computer. So what we have is a Sony CyberShot. This is a point and click, a 10.2 megapixel camera, model number DSC-TX1. This is part of the Sony Digidad project where Sony has lent us a bunch of, of different Sony gear and we are embarking on a variety of, of projects using this gear. What you have here is a quite a slick Sony point and click. As you can see here, it is a, a very large screen, very interactive. It's all touch screen. You can choose different types of, of options within the screen. Fairly easy to use. You can slide the, the items off of the screen. When you're in playback mode, you can actually drill down fairly easily and flip through different pictures. You can actually view it, zoom in on objects. One of the features I like is the calendar view where you can scroll through and see different pictures that occurred at different points on the calendar. Uh, a lot of things built into it. The more I played with this camera, the more things I actually uh, liked and discovered about it. So another thing that's pretty nice is that you can do panoramas as well as record in high definition. So there's a movie mode that lets you easily film high definition playback and it records pretty good quality actually for a little point and click you can see here I'm gonna try and play it back and there you have it it's a nice nice feature to have on on a tiny little camera like this so a couple of complaints that I have it does have if you see on the bottom here a, a proprietary cable dock that has both a USB and video and audio out uh, you can see you can attach to um, a camera mount there flash there's obviously red eye reduction on this optical zoom on the top uh, so some of the things that I didn't like too much about it was the fact that the the lens is way over to the side here so a lot of times I'll be trying to take a picture and you'll see my finger will get right in the way it's, uh, I don't usually hold it with one hand like this. I usually tend to hold it with two hands. Makes it a little bit more stable, but if you have your finger floating, you can see it gets right in the way. The other thing, while it's nice, is the, the slide down lens protector here. It's very easy to have it open while it's in your pocket, as well as if you hit the on off button on the top here, it'll turn on and it'll just sit in your, in your pocket. But there are a lot of pluses to, to the uh, DSC-TX1. Um, just it has a variety of different uh, modes that you can use. It automatically selects whether you're shooting at night or low light or, or bright light or close up. It'll automatically switch to macro mode. Let's see, I need to switch it into intelligent adjustment so here it is long range if I put something up close you'll see up in the corner should do this come on guys it'll switch to uh, macro mode maybe I'm too close so I clicked on a, a part of the screen to force the camera to focus on certain areas so you can see up in the corner hopefully a little magnifying glass and a flower and that means I'm in macro mode but then if I click out there it, it it goes to a normal picture so again click up close it switches to close focus or macro mode pretty nice feature uh, I did find the battery life uh, tends to to drain pretty quickly um, but that was because I'm using all the features that are built in here so I'm taking a picture here and I'm going to show another nice uh, feature that's built in that's really fun for the kids. 
So I took a picture. Now what I can do with this picture is I can actually go into the menu and, oh, I'm not there, I should be in. So what I can do is I go back to playback and hit menu and there's this thing called paint. And when I'm in here, I can actually start drawing on the screen. And this is a lot of fun to do uh, if, if your kids are bored. You can do all sorts of little artwork things, keep them amused, and you can save off the picture when you're done if you want to do that. So that's a kind of a, a nifty little feature that is built in. Overall, pretty good camera. Uh, the price point isn't too bad. It's a little over $300. I just like it in terms of uh, its portability and, and fairly easy, easy to use aspect of it. So there you have it. You can read more about this camera and see some other Sony gear at my blog. And that's www.hitechdad.com. You can follow me on Twitter as at High Tech Dad, and check back later for more product reviews. Thanks a lot.